welcome back to another video for google Earth engine uh, i hope you are doing well today i want to show you how you can uh, import your assets to gee project as you can see here i have the assets counties and nairobi county shape files so i'm assuming that you have already created your gee project and you are ready to start working with the imported data and also import the let's say the landsat or the sentinel data now if you are on your google engine a working environment make sure you go to new since we want to add the shape files or maybe the csv data in this video i'm going to show you how you can add the shape file so head over to assets maybe you are here on the scripts so you click to the assets and go to new so when you click on the new you can see a drop down that has the image upload you can upload the geotiv uh, the tiv with a single f or double f then you can also upload the tables here we are going to upload the shape file you can still upload the csv now when you click on uh, upload shape file it will open up this uh, kind of small window and now you are going to select before that you can see if you read through this uh, some kind of description you can see it says please drag and drop or select files from this asset now you also have to check the extensions like for example allowed extensions here we have the shp zip dbf uh, prj and so on now I'm going to click on select and this one is going to open up my local computer where I saved my uh, shape files. So I'm going to select for the counties because I want to add the counties as a demo. So I'm going to highlight counties DBF, PRJ, QRX, QPJ, shape file, SHX. Yeah. Then I'm going to say open. Now, whenever I click on that one, it's going to say file named counties dot qpj does not have any a correct extension. Okay, so it means we are not going to import the file name with this extension. Okay, so I can say I can close this one and uh, go back. So I'm going to select dbf prj uh, qpj shp shx and then say open now again it says the file name qpj does not have a correct extension i can close that i'm just doing this so that you can you can see how the warning message comes up so here i can say uh, dbf prj now shp and shx then i can say open yeah now i'm allowed to export or to import this asset but also since i already have this uh, shape file in my project i'm not i'm not allowed to import it for the second time since it has the same id that's why i'm getting this warning that says the asset id already exists please enter a different asset okay so for your case if you if you if you're not told well if you don't see the this kind of warning message here so you can go ahead and upload hopefully your upload icon or button is activated so you can click on upload then automatically they will be uploaded here maybe it will say it will take some time but um finally it will be imported to your cloud assets here now if you manage to do that then you can see well, when i hover over these uh, two kind of assets here I have the icon for share and this one is for rename or you can edit the the file name then this one says import into script so when you click on this icon here for the specific shape file that you want then it will automatically import this uh, shape file to your project so what you need to do is either rename it um, change the name or leave it as it is then um, the next thing is now to 
import your data, the Landsat or Sentinel or whatever you want to work with. They are, so here, as you can see for my project, I have the Landsat 8 collection 2 tier 1. Here, if you type in L8 or Landsat 8, then you can head over to rasters and uh, click on this one, the second one, which says collection 2 tier 1, real-time data raw scenes. You can click on that one. Then down here, you can also read the description, go to bands, image properties, terms of use. You can see the bands that are there. So we have band 1, band 2, 3. So we have uh, band 2, 3, and 4. We have blue, green, and red. Now you can see here we have the collection snippet. You can copy this or you can click on this icon to copy. After that, you come to your uh, Google Earth Engine uh, code editor. Then you can declare the variable as image data, just I've seen, or Landsat data. Then you can paste in whatever you have copied from the canvas there. So the next one is to filter bounds with the, C the CSV or the shape file you've imported. So for my case, I have the table. Then I also filter with dates. You can see it is a period of one year. This is 2017, January that first to 2017, December that first, okay? You can also filter you can also call the filter function and say ee dot filter dot less than then the cloud cover is five percent then uh, now we are going to select the true color composite which is the rgb so this is the red band the blue band uh, the green band i mean then the uh blue band so r g b right then now you have to declare some visualization parameters as I've, I've done here, you can say bands, we want the RGB, mean zero, maximum is 3000 and the gamma is one. The next one is to center the object. So we have to center our map or our shape file. So which is uh, our area of interest. So here I can say map to center object. Then I pass in the shape file, which is the tempo. Then I run the zoom level to be 10. So whenever I run this code, whatever will be shown here on the map will be zoomed in 10%. After that, I'm going to add the layers to the map. So I can say map.add layer. I pass in the image data, which is the Landsat. I'm going to take the median and also clip. Because the Landsat tile is so large, and so we want to take the our area of interest, which is the table, the shape file of our area of interest, then I pass in the visualization parameters as the second parameter. Then the last one is the name of the layer, which is Landsat 8, as it appears down here. So now, if I go ahead and uh, control enter, or you can click on run, and you also make sure you saved your work. You can see this is what I'm getting. So immediately I run this, you can see I'm getting this zoomed in 10% uh, as we have defined. Now, if you come here to the layers, you can see here we have the layers, then go to this settings icon. Then we have the one band grayscale and three bands. So here go to custom and click on stretch to 100% then you can apply <clears throat> and now you can see we have the true color composite for our area of interest yeah <clears throat> very nice yeah now you can see the true color for our area of interest this is Nairobi County now you can see it is very easy to import your shape files to your Google Earth Engine project. Hopefully this was helpful. I hope to see you in the next one. Thank you for watching.